Hey everybody, Matt here with Backwoods Mindset. Uh, just uh, wanted to do a real quick video. Um, kind of want to do a how-to video. I appreciate you stopping by to watch. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have a different way that you do it. Um, I'll kind of show um, two different ways that I've seen it and the way that I, that I do it. Um, just to kind of, I'm not going to, the one way I might not do it, uh, but we'll see. I have an uh, extra shrimp here, but it's with shrimp uh, for catfishing. Um, so I have a lot of luck and I never used them before. Um, this is something recently in the last year I've been doing is using shrimp for catfishing. Uh, for channel cats when I'm in areas where it's channel cats some places where I'm at in Ohio that's what we have is channel cats um, you go farther west farther south you start seeing the flatheads that's when we use live cut bluegill stuff like that but um, wanted to kind of show you what I do because some people have a lot of trouble keeping their shrimp on the hook so I'm going to do this little video here uh, kind of show you how I found head luck and I've never since I've been doing this and I'll show you the old way I used to do it. I've never had an issue with losing um, losing a fish. So stay tuned here and um, we'll get this video underway and I'll show you how I do this. So this is an eight-aught eight -aught hook that I use, a circle hook. Um, you can see it here. It's razor sharp on the tip. Um, these are what I prefer to use for catfishing. Um, so, and I, I like the eight-aughts. It's pretty good. Um, it's a nice thick, and I don't know if you can really see here, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty beefy hook. Um, but anyway, so the way I used to do it, and here's a shrimp here. I found a place that I can actually buy them, and they have the um, the head still on the shrimp. Um, I have better luck with those two. The thing is, the place is an hour away, so unfortunately, um, sorry, I don't have to try to get some better light. Um, my lights, my ring lights, actually dying, but I'm just going to keep doing this. So, what I used to do is, you see the piece of shrimp like this. I would go through and hook through the meat like this go through and then up and then I would spin it around and I'd get it through the tail but with this I would have them trying to take it from here and they'd rip it off or they grab the tail rip it off like that so I'll take this back off of here so this is how I started doing it. I started going shrimp this way, hook this way, and I would go in through the top, through the meat, like this, and then I would spin it around and then work its way through. And I grab the tail and then I force the hook up through the tail because that's where it grips real hard and you want to be real careful when you're doing it so that you don't get the hook and then you end up with a hook on a shrimp like that so when they come in they don't even see the hook they come up and bite it and it takes them so that's how I do these this is how it works out the best these don't come off real easy. You can cast it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's held on there real tight. You can slide it around. You can get it up higher. But that is exactly how I do it. And that's that works best for me. So that's my way of doing it. Um, there's other ways. And, you know, who's to say that one way is better than another? Some people might have better luck doing it the first way that I showed it. Um I do it that way. I don't lose the shrimp. Fish seem to go for it. 
when I have it like this. I've never had an issue. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm going to be with it, back with another video soon. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And um, look out for the next video. Have a good night, everybody.